Shema and welcome to another video here on the channel. I'm Ludwig Niederbach. First of all, let's have a little recap. For those of you that's new here, approximately six months ago, or even more, I think it's coming up to like seven months ago, I took a hug stick to my right eye. And since then I've been going to the hospital back and forth, just to make sure what's going on, just to figure everything out. Seven months later, What's the status? My life status right now with the eye is that it's pitch black. As it look right now, I will never be able to see out of my right eye. The eye look healthy. The only thing you can notice by looking at it is that the pupil is a little bit dil it's dilated all the way out and it doesn't react to light. So what's the problem with the eye? Let me explain it for you. So the reason I I'm not able to see anything out of the eye is because when it all happened, the stick got up under my visor and hit straight on my eye. And by that, it pushed everything backwards, hitting the optical nerve and just pushed everything together. And I ended up having a bleeding behind the eye, which in the end just suffocated the optical nerve. So the nerve isn't really like broken, but it's more or likely like tapped out and they can't do anything about it it's just it is what it is because the injury is in the back behind the eye they can't take the eye out and do something they can't do any surgeries if i understand everything right the optical nerve is like going into the eye from the brain and just splitting up to millions and millions of ner different like nerves uh, small small like connections they are so small they can't do anything about it so as it is right now it's just i had to live with it but i'm starting to get back to my normal life when all this happened after 90 days period i, I lost my job so at the moment i'm unemployed trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with my life from now on and i'm starting to feel better and better with the eye the eye has there's nothing else to do with the eye so that part is pretty much over now it's just the mental part of just getting back into some sort of life during these past months i've tried to get up early i tried to do something to just have the brain going a little bit so i don't lose my shit. so a day for me right now can pretty much look like this i wake up try to get up early i eat my breakfast because i need it uh, because of my diabetes it, it helps and makes the day better and easier and after that i just go in here and try to create something that makes me happy for the mental health and as i said so i don't lose my shit. the good part is that i've stopped all the medications i had some troubles with the pressure on the eyes i could feel the eye you're not supposed to feel feel that it's just supposed to be there i could feel that it was something wrong when they let me get off all those medications and different drops that i needed to put on the eye that pressure went down to a normal level so today i don't feel the eye as much as i did a month ago but i'm still struggling with headaches and migraine symptoms and they don't know why but except that I want to get back to a normal life and the only thing left now is to just to fight the mental health the first few months I didn't do it a lot uh, because the head and everything couldn't keep up with it now it's just to realize and live with the injury that I got and hopefully I can figure myself out my days right now is pretty much trying to figure myself out and figure out what I want to do when I grow up. I hope this video doesn't turn out shoppy and that I can spread some sort of message of it has helped me a lot just getting up and do something work related even though I haven't got paid for it it really helped uh, keeping my head uh, intact. It's not a vlog but it's a little bit of an update of my life and what I've been up to and how life is going in general. I've been trying to do more travel videos as well, uh, especially when we're out with the Jeep. And if you like those type of videos, I'll, I'll leave some sort of link somewhere. Thank you so much for watching. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, so I can see you in the next video. Bye, bro.